John Bennett with Logic Pro X, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Soundflower to record system audio right into your Logic project for your remixes. And first thing you want to do is Google Soundflower and download. Here, I'll do. I'll show you the page. If you Google for Soundflower, it's this first one. Go ahead and download that and install it. And I think you actually have to restart your machine. So go ahead and do that. Then the next step is to go up to your audio here, option click it, and choose Soundflower 2 channel. That's going to route the audio that's playing on your computer right through Soundflower. And then the final step is go to Preferences and choose Soundflower as your input. So in another video, I showed you how to, to record or get your computer to speak. In this case, I did haters. Let's do haters make me famous. Okay. So um, in the other video, I showed you how you can get the Siri voice actually right on your, on your, um, right on your machine. So it, it can talk just like Siri. So I'll do that real quick. I'm going to highlight this. Haters make me famous. So I want to record that into my project now. So I'm just, I've got a track here. I've soloed it. I'm going to hit record. Haters make me famous. Okay. You probably got a little echo sound because I've also got my output going, but right here it should only be one time. So here we go. Let's listen. Now you can also use this method to record anything that you can play through your computer. I wouldn't advise using that as your means of, of grabbing audio because a lot of, uh, uh, just depends on, you're going through a lot of different things and you're like, say you wanted to rip a YouTube or SoundCloud or something, I guess you could do that, but just make sure the quality is there or you're going to have problems. So let's say too, to take this to the next level, that I'm probably going to use that quite a bit. Um, I'm going to make it into a loop. I'm going to hit Shift W over my Apple loops. And this is two beats. Let me back up. Before you just go and do it, make sure you can see here that I've, I've chopped it right here. And it's going one, two beats. So I know that's two beats. If it's off, like if you chop it off, it's, it's not going to sound right. So Shift W. I've got that. I'm going to make this two beats. It's not letting me. Okay, so when I first did it, I had a lot of silence on the beginning and end. So in order to just do this, I'm going to bounce it in place. And that's the one. Now I don't, you can see that I can't drag it out. This one, I can drag out. So Apple Loops Utility is trying to work on that whole part, not just this part. Now I go Shift W on that one. And I say it's looping. And then I do Shift Command S. And I'm going to get, I'm going to call this Haters Siri 2 Beats. And I'm going to just throw it on the desktop. Okay, I go over to my desktop. I got Siri haters two beats. Now let's bring it in and make sure that it's an Apple loop. And I want it to be an Apple loop so I can do use it, you know, all through all kinds of different projects and whatnot. And I can change tempos and it, it won't be affected. Now this is I think this is a bug, but if you zoom way in, you get the waveform, but it, as soon as you zoom out, you don't get the waveform. I don't know what's going on with that. So that's good. So I've got that. Now I want to add it to my, um, my loop library so I can quickly grab it when I open my loop library. You can right click and add to loop library. It sticks it. I'll show you where it sticks it, and I don't like keeping it there. I'll, I'll put it in, my, in a special folder, but I'll go ahead and add that to the loop library. Just hit create. 
Now let me show you where it puts it. It puts it in library, audio, Apple loops, user loops, single files. I don't like that. So I'm actually going to, and it didn't save it as a AIFF, which is interesting. Probably because it's so short. I'm going to pull that from there and actually put it in vocals. Okay. And then go to here and re index my loop library, and it should be in this folder now. So I can use it over and over again. Hope you enjoyed that. For more detailed video tutorials and, and chance to work with me one on one and help you out with whatever you need help with, check out the website logicprox.net. Go ahead and be a VIP member and let's let's get some killer remixes going. See you soon.